Hello everybody, my name is Rob Bidolf and I am a children's author and illustrator mainly of picture books. You might have seen some of my books before. Have you seen this one, Blown Away? All about a penguin who goes out flying his kite on a windy day. Maybe you've seen this one, it's called Odd Dog Out. All about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs or my latest book, another dog one. I like writing books about dogs. This one is called Dog Gone, uh, which is all about Teddy the pug who loses his human one day while he's out on a dog walk. You might also know me from something called Draw With Rob. Now, I know lots of you have been drawing along with me since the first lockdown last year. Um, lots of little draw along videos that I've put up online. Um, and maybe some of you did the world record uh, whale drawing with me back in May 2020, uh, when I think there was 45, nearly 46,000 of us all drew uh, a little drawing of a whale together and we broke the world record. So that was super exciting. So yes, you might know me from that. But I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about words and pictures and to show you how to draw one of the World Book Day bookmarks because I am the official World Book Day illustrator as well. I have been since 2019 actually. This is my third year um, doing that particular job. I'm very proud to be the World Book Day illustrator. And so I invented all these little World Book Day bookmark characters and I'm going to show you how to draw one of these characters um, today. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about words and pictures first of all because I, because I write picture books um, the, the words part of my story and the picture part of my story, they sort of do two separate jobs, but those jobs come together to make the story. So you can do some storytelling with the words that you write and some storytelling with the pictures that you draw. So I am going to show you how to draw one of these little World Book Day bookmarks, but I'm going to put that bookmark into a, a sort of scenario in the drawing. And I thought it might be fun if you guys then went away and you wrote a story about that particular bookmark and maybe so you would draw this one picture and then maybe you could draw some other pictures to tell the full story. What do you think? Does that sound like a plan? Yeah? Good? Right. Shall we get on and do a bit of drawing? Let's do it. Okay. Rob, it's over to you. Okay, so we're ready to draw. Now, just in case you've not seen any of my Draw With Rob videos before, this is how they work. Now, lots of people tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. And I say, do you know what? Everybody can draw. It's just that some people, they need a little bit more help with the order that we do the drawing in, which is where I come in. Because what I do, I break the drawings down into little bite-sized pieces. So little shapes or lines um, that come together at the end to form a big picture. So this is how it's gonna work. I'm going to draw one of these little bite-sized pieces on my piece of paper. You can then pause the video and copy exactly what I do. Start me up again, I'll draw a little bit more, then you draw, then I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, and at the end we should end up with a lovely picture. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, something to draw with and maybe something to colour with at the end. Okay, so I thought I would show you how to draw one of my little bookmark characters, the World Book Day bookmarks, but I'm going to put them into a little scenario, um, as I mentioned, that maybe you can come up and then afterwards, after you've done the drawing, maybe you can come up with a little story to go with that drawing. Okay, do you remember I said pictures always tell one part of the story and words tell the other part? So I thought that might be a fun thing to do. So let's start, shall we? Right, now we are going to start with um let's start with a curve so towards the bottom of your piece of paper i want you to draw quite simple curve like that roughly 10 centimeters long okay then i want you to draw another one exactly the same about two centimeters apart or a centimeter and a half apart okay so we're going to follow it exactly so it runs parallel just like that okay then i want you to join them up with a horizontal line at the top, like that. And at the bottom, down here, I want you to add like a sort of pointy arrow shape to join them up, like that. And you can see our bookmark is starting to take shape. Now these bookmark characters that I designed especially for World Book Day are very, very easy to draw. We just give them a pair of legs and the legs are just lines, one line like that with a little curve at the end for a foot and another line 
like that, with a little curve at the end for a foot. Easy peasy. You see lots of us illustrators, we're very lazy. We like to do things as easily and as simply as possible. Speaking of which, we need to give our bookmark some eyes and some eyebrows. Again, easy peasy. A little circle there, a little circle next to it, there, like that. We are gonna do the eyes looking down, okay? So two little black circles in the middle, uh, not in the middle, sorry, slightly towards the bottom of the eye, like that, so they're looking down. And then just a couple of eyebrows up here to give our bookmark a little bit of personality. Now, the arms. Similar to the legs, these are very, very simple. We're just gonna do, and we're gonna do them quite low down on our little bookmark's body. We're just gonna draw a curved line that comes up like that with a circle at the end for a hand. See, I told you, super lazy, aren't I? <laughs> Sometimes simple is best. Then we're gonna do the same on this side. Curving up, a little circle at the end, hand. There we go, there's our little bookmark character. Now then, do you remember I said I'm gonna put them in a little sort of scenario? First thing we need to do is, we're gonna do a semicircle there, sort of around the arm and another one just inside like that. Let's do the same on this side. Semicircle, another one like that. What's going on? I hear you ask. Okay, well the next thing to do is we are gonna draw another sort of semicircle but with a straighter edge coming around that way, going straight through the arm. And again, we're gonna do it here. So ah bookmark is sort of wearing, it looks a bit like a rucksack or something on his or her back. It's not a rucksack. This might give you a clue as to what it is. From this hand here, I want you to draw a straight line going up to about there. Okay. And then I want you to do another one coming out, but a slightly steeper angle, almost 45 degrees about there. Then what I want you to do is I want you to join them up with a series of little semicircles. As many or as few as you want. But we need to start and end on the down part of the semicircle, like that. Then once you've done that, I want you to do a great big semicircle all the way over the top of those little ones from one end to the other like that you're starting to see it now i just know you are then from each point of these semicircles i want you to draw a straight line that goes down to our wherever it wherever your straight line goes whatever it hits i just want you to stop when it hits it so it's hitting our bookmark's head there there and can you see I'm sort of doing them so they all sort of head inwards slightly towards all of them sort of go towards this rucksack on the back of our bookmark and that's because it's not a rucksack at all it's a parachute pack and our little bookmark is parachuting down to earth you see I told you I was going to put them in a little kind of scenario so we are drawing a parachuting bookmark who's coming down through the sky who knows how he or she has got there? I think that's up to you. Maybe you want to write a little story that ends with our little bookmark character parachuting down to earth. That's the fun bit. I'm not going to tell you what to do because I want you to use your imaginations. I'm going to go away now. I'm going to super speed mode and I'm going to colour in my little picture here. So I will see you back here in 30 seconds or so, 20 or 30 seconds, something like that, and I'll have a fully coloured in picture. So, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. There we go, there's my coloured in parachuting bookmark. Guys, don't forget to sign your drawings. You always need to sign your works of art so that everybody knows who the creator is. I'll sign mine down there. So yes, there we go, a parachuting bookmark. 
I've, um, I should have said at the beginning, you can color, there's no rules for the coloring. You can color yours any colors you like. Your bookmark can be any color you like. Your parachute can have patterns on it, anything. Mine's relatively plain. You can see I added a few lines going from these points up into the center point, just to give it that sort of parachute texture and feel. But maybe, you know, maybe you've done your sort of cam camouflage pattern, and that's got something, the pattern of your parachute might have something to do with the story the backstory to your picture because remember as i said this is just the starting point of a story this picture this tells a portion of the story but maybe you could write the words for the other portion that would be a really fun exercise for you all so listen it's been super fun showing you how to draw this little picture here and start your stories off your words and picture stories um, I hope you've had fun drawing along with me. Um, you can find lots more of my draw along videos if you just go onto YouTube and search for Draw With Rob or search this hashtag here, Draw With Rob, on any of social medias, you'll find lots and lots of my videos. Um, and um, yeah, it's been fun. I hope you enjoy World Book Day, um, whatever it is you're doing, and I will see you again very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.